Hi guys, welcome back to Stacy Reacts, where we be reviewing um, Don't Say No, Episode 7. This is where the mom finally comes into the scene. So we have... Fiat is having a conversation with Leo's mom about missing him, and he was doing a lot of crying because of all the stuff that was going on, while Leo and Leon sitting on the sofa, like, um... Leo asked his mom when did she came back and if dad was okay with her coming back to Bangkok. The father um, is in Switzerland and the mom was in Paris doing work. So I guess they must be doing like charity work and stuff like that. So we get um, this the scene where Fiat was over here lying to the mother about Leon been bullying him and Leon was shocked as, as I was too. I was like, how are you lying? And you getting a boy in trouble for that's not what we do. So the mother pinched um, Leon by the ears. I was like, oh, God, another suffering. And that's when, as the mother was, like, scolding Leon to both Fia and Leo's surprise, she said, besides ignoring my calls, you also bully his boyfriend? Baby, when I say the girls were gagging, the girls were gagging. Yes, I was like, oh, wait a minute now. How you know they dating? Huh? I said, so you been waiting, huh? I said, all right now. They were surprised too because they looked at each other. So, you know, that's how that goes. So in order to, you know, make up for lost times, the mom decided to sleep in the room with Fiat, you know, leaving Leo to bunk with his brother in the other room. And that was just a bummer and a shocker for all of them because it was like, why he got to be in the room with me? <laughs> so I know Leo was mad because he couldn't have his quality time with his man. And he thought his mom was going to sleep in the main house, you know, along with Leon supposed to sleep in the main house, but whatever. So the mom has left the living room and went to go find food because she was hungry because she just got off the plane and stuff like that. And now everyone needs a reassurance because they know how the mother stays already because I can see. She's a handful and some more. So, yes. So I can see she's going to be a firecracker in this episode seven because she's given me a lot and I'm here for it. Encouragement. Now we have Fiat. And the mom having some alone time as they're talking about how he's been and what's going on in his dating life and etc. So I don't know if you guys remember when Fiat posted that picture of type on his Instagram page. The mom was like asking about type and that's when Fiat was telling the mother that he and Leo are dating now. He was so scared to say it. I was just like... What's going on? <laughs> Why are we scared to say what is what's on our mind? Okay. So I was just like, okay. He was apologizing and she was so confused about the apology. I was too. I was like, Why are you apologizing for something that you know that you both wanted? I was like, okay, whatever. The mom was worried that Leo was not strong enough to be with Fiat, calling him a coward. I said, well, damn, why you, why are you calling your son names and stuff like that? She don't know why she named him Leo after the lion. I was just like, okay, all right, whatever. So the mom knew Fiat was her son long before um, Fiat and Leo knew they were dating or before they even knew that they were, you know, liked each other. I was like, okay, mother intuition, you know. So the mom was being extra nosy, talking about their bedroom affairs. I'm like, we close, but not that close for us to have that type of conversation. I should supposed to have that conversation, you know, with me and my man. We're not talking about how is, how is he in the bedroom. No, ma'am, no ham, no turkey, no gravy, no none of that. No. Now, and that's when the mother was like, you know, I used to talk to a lot of men before she met Leo's dad. And I was just like, as you should, you're supposed to date around, you know, explore options, you know, 
but you know i digress so that's when we get Bia and the mom hug man they said i love you and all this and that their time was over so we have leo and leon in the bed miserable because they have to share the same bed for tonight i'm like bro didn't y'all used to sleep on the same bed as y'all were like little kids and stuff like that i know i used to especially when we have like family members come over and your favorite cousins yes camping night sleepover yes bitch yes if y'all remember that yeah i had a best childhood ever and so they're like they were having a heart-to-heart conversation about the mom knowing that they that they liked each other before they knew they liked each other mom and the maid so back at the crib we have the mother and the maid talking about fia and leo dating the maid was surprised to see that leo and fia were so close to each other like they were kissing because remember in episode one at the end of it that's when she caught them um and um leo pinning up um fia against the china cabinet yes baby it was everything and i was like i was here for it i was so we get the maid name is p um she has been like we found out that she's been supporting leon fiat for a long time like she apologized for being too eager to reply to relay the message i was like oh so she been rooting for them for like like the mama i said well damn all right now so that's when the mother wants to know if leon that's when the mother wanted to know if Leon has been seeing or talking to anybody lately. And P. Josh says he's been behaving a lot better. She mentioned Pope's name. And the mother is very curious who this person is. Now the mother has to set a plan in motion for Fia and Leo in order to succeed in happiness and marriage. And she's just going to worry about Leon a little bit later. Because Leon, that's a whole different story. If you... Mm. So now we get to the scene of Leo and the mother discussing business, the charity event, and who this Pope person is. So the mother is conjuring up a plan to learn about Pope. And so she's asking Leo, like, as you can see, do you know Leon's people? And so Leon, Leo was surprised that she knew about him and stuff like that. I said, yes, honey, I, I'm surprised too. Because I was shocked. So that's when we have the mom meeting Pope. And that's when Pope comes to Fiat and Leo's house since the mother set up a meeting. And the mother asked Pope if he was talking to Leon. And he was so nervous to say, I'm just like, yes, yeah, you meet your future mother in law. You know. And the person who's who's helping your charity, like the mother asked Pope to to um uh to persuade Leon to come back to Paris with her, and Pope said he can't do that because Leon has his reasons, and you know Pope don't want to be sad um that his boyfriend is leaving him. Like I, like I would be too. I would be too. Like why is my man leaving me, and why are you conjuring up? some type of plan because honestly i thought like it was a test when i first saw i said oh so she put him to the test and see if he could pass or fail and so the mother heard his reasons since she was testing him and he succeeded and she's going to double the donation for the orphans i was like yes that's right yes i said i like him i like him family breakfast time so we sitting at the table having a decent meal and the mom is admiring fia and leo love for each other um this is the scene <laughs> this is with the struggle muffin mm -hmm. if y'all remember that so leon is upset because nobody told him that pope was coming over and he was and he had a holy draws one i was like bro ducky draws as we can see <laughs> I said, holy jaws, you that poor? I was like, okay, sir, whatever. The mom was pleased that Pope had denied her request, and she knew that Pope was special. Leon was nosy figuring out why Pope was here. Like, mind your business. 
ain't got nothing to do with you. Don't concern you. So that's when the mom wanted Pope to be her son. And they were shocked. They were like, huh? Because actually she said, I want Pope. They was like, huh? So yeah, she was like encouraging Leon to do everything in his power to make Pope his. I was like, all right now. (laughs) That's right. So that's when we have Fiat goes home and is greeted by the disrespectful brat of a little sister. Yes. And you can tell Fiat was trying to be a big brother to her. Ungrateful, but but whatever. But whatever. She was like, he was like, oh, don't ain't you supposed to be in your bed? And she told me it's eight. I said, and I'm like, okay, it's eight o'clock. That means your ass needs to be in your damn bed. And go to sleep. Don't you got to wake up at like 6 o'clock in the morning. 6, 7 o'clock in the morning. Because that's what time elementary school starts. Don't it? I don't care if it's a weekend. You still on the same schedule of routine. 8 o'clock. Go to your bed. And that's when she was like. She was telling her mother like. Fiat's here and I don't know why he's here. I was like. You don't need to concern yourself on why he's here. You worry about your business and stay in a child's place. Girl, I was done with her. That's when we have um, Fiat had went to his room and called Leo's mom because he felt sad and lonely because he don't have a great family like Leo does. Stop comparing families. She giving him encouraging words and try to mend the relationship with Faith since Fa loves her mother. I was just like, okay. Y'all need to, you know, Fia and Faye have a small conversation. Um, If he wants breakfast, but he says no, and Faye is sad. Fia said he'll eat breakfast next time he sleeps over. That's definitely a good um, step in the right direction. And then we get to a scene of a woman watching a video of Fia and Leo confessing their love for each other. I'm trying to figure out, like, who is that? Is that Fia's mom? And why she like she's, like, in a mental institute? She looks crazy. Like, and that's when they showed a picture of a little boy and her. So I'm like, oh, okay, that must be Fia. We get to the scene where Fia is drinking tea in the living room and Leo comes in and sees him. He's asking where the mother's at and why is he in the living room. And Fia said that um the mother's sleeping. So, you know. So they have a conversation on the sofa on the sofa and Fia was saying to Leo how he's lucky to have a mother. I'm like, so what happened to your mother and why did she leave? What's the reason for her leaving? Because she's giving me crazy vibes. Like, I'm not going to lie and sit here. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys. She gives me crazy vibes. Like, <sighs> that's probably why she left. The bitch was crazy. Okay. So, Fiat fears that he will get scalded at by the mother if he sleeps downstairs tonight. And Leo says he will take the blame if she does. I know that's right. Take up for your man against your mama. Yes, stand by your man. Yes, honey. <laughs> so, Lee and Fia are on the sofa sleeping, and the mother saw and had a smile on her face because she came downstairs looking for um Fia. And Leo was um having reminiscent time on how they came with the necklace. And so, yeah. And it comes to find out it was the mom who gave them the necklace. So it was really cute. Uh, It has their name on there. And so Leo um, has Fiat name and Fiat has Leo name, which is very cute. It is. That's when um, Leo came to pick up Fiat from his house and, and greeted Faye. 
um, Leon Fee are in the car having a conversation about him doing a good deed only to get it, have it ruined by Fee saying that his mom forced him to do it. I said, damn, can never win. Leo was upset because he can't win points when his mom is around. I said, <clears throat> I said, yeah, you're right, you can't. So they finally came out the car and Fia is sulking because Leo didn't say his romantic gesture. So Leo's trying to figure out how to pacify Fia and give him and gave him a peck on the on the lips, but it was not giving what it's supposed to have gave because Fia was still upset. So Fia was not pleased at all. And that's when we have Leo grab Fiat to the side of the building and kiss them passionately. <laughs> it was so cute. I was like, I said, okay. So they had to stop because it was like he was getting a little bit horde. You know, it was getting a little razzle dazzle in the downstairs area. So yes. And then you have, lo and behold, that girl was looking with a disgusting face. Yes, a disgusting face. Like, she kept, like, keep walking home. She was so upset it wasn't her being kissed. I'm just like, baby, he told you he gay. You see he gay. He ain't going to the other side, ho. Bitch, stop. Because you look like a messy ho. You look like a messy ho to me. And I don't like that shit. I don't deal with messy bitches. Yes, I said what I said. I don't deal with messy bitches. But yeah, anywho, I digress. Um, The kiss and the romantic quotes did him well, as you can see. Yes, honey. And so... We get the scene where he's um, Nam came over and asked Fiat about the video. If there's a sex tape, and she was, and he said, um, "No, if there was, I wouldn't let you see it." And you know, Leo does a good job satisfying me, and that he will never come to the other side. He was basically, he wasn't telling that to Nam. He was telling that to old, um, that disgusting face girl. Yes, that's what he was doing. Leo. And Fiat discussing what he wanted for his birthday and he wanted his mom, but he knew that was going to be impossible. So, yeah. Now that we are done with um, Fiat and Leo, now it is time for Pope and Leon. <laughs> so, this is the scene where um, Pope got had text um, Leon about um, if he wanted to come with him to pick up pick up Jer and Leon was excited as you can see in the picture and he was already annoying Leo yes I was annoyed too but whatever but I was happy at the same time I said yes he can go to sleep now <laughs> he can finally go to sleep so Leon and Pope went to pick up Pope Jer from the vet and Pope invited Leon up after Leon requested it like he was basically begging him I was like, oh, God. Like, they were talking about condition, the conditions of Pope Jer, like, what's the status? How can she get better and stuff like that? Leon noticed that Pope is a cat lover, and he took the cat plush and kissed it on the paw and placed it on Pope's lip. Girl, I was like, what are you doing? I was like, if you want to kiss, just ask and stop doing all this foolishness. Like, tell him, I want to kiss you. Keep it moving. Like, Pope was getting annoyed with Leon playing, and he took the plush and kissed the plush and placed it right on Leo's lips. <laughs> and that's when Leon was shooketh and taken aback by the whole thing. And that's when um Pope was like, this is what you call stealing the kiss i was like bitch yes you sure the hit i fool what you supposed to do baby <laughs> yes. okay 
So I was just like, come through, come through with your stuff, Pope. Yes. And so that's when um, Leon came home. And he came up behind his mom and kissed her on the cheeks because he is happy. This is before the mom um, met Pope. Okay, this is way before the mom met Pope. I just want to let y'all know that. Um, And the mom was surprised and smiling. I was like, yes, okay. As Pope is leaving and saying his goodbyes. Because this is after with the meeting. Um, as Pope was leaving and saying his goodbyes to the mother, here comes Leon in his ducky underwear exposing his goods to Pope. I was like, ah, boy, you don't put on clothes when you come out of people, um, come downstairs and greet people. I was like, sir, what, what, what are you doing? This all you come on people yard? Undress in all your drawers? What? Where they do that at? I said, where do they do that at? No, sir. It not happen here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I was like, ah. <laughs> So Pope was surprised and taken aback by, by the scene of what just happened. He just saw his man in some ducky boxes. Duck boxes. I said, Lord Jesus. I said, Jesus, Lord, they ain't ready. They ain't ready. So Leon and Pope are at the restaurant. And that that the mother has prepared for them. So they didn't know. They didn't know that they were going to be there. They were both surprised. And Leon knew that they were set up by the mom. He knew because the mom is determined. Again, she's basically like, like Leon. So Leon wants to be serious with Pope and assure him that the mom is the same way too. Uh, you have Leon and Pope are sharing heart-to-heart conversations about growing up as a child. Leon talking about how his mom stayed making him do things to feel happy. Pope talk about talks to him about being an orphan and not knowing his biological parents and stuff like that. And he was once almost adopted. But the family decided to not um, go ahead and adopt him. And that's when his biological, not his bio, his adopted dad ended up coming in to the rescue. And that's how he came into the picture. So, I mean, like, overall, it was like a sweet and cute moment for the both of them. Learning about their past and stuff like that. While they were holding hands and staring at each other. Yes, it was so cute. And he brought him flowers, which is so nice. Like, they were standing under the archway of the restaurant, and Leon kissed Pope, and it was so beautiful. Like, they both like each other. It was so nice. Because he said, if, if basically, if you felt some type of way or don't want me to, you know, kiss you, just push me away. Push me back. But if you hate me, just push me, you know? But when he kissed him, it was a wrap. He didn't hate him. He enjoyed that kiss. So I was just like, oh, shit. Yes. Yes. Okay. And that's when we got Pope and Leon walk back to Pope's dorm. And Leon is too excited about kissing Pope again that he gave him a peck with his two fingers and placed it on his lips. I said, what the hell is this foolishness? But whatever. So the... <laughs> So, like, the boy was drunk off with a kiss that he tripped while walking back to his car and Pope was laughing. I said, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I was done. I was done. I was done and over with it. I was like, yes. This episode seven has been interesting and I like it. I like the mom because she bring that fire, that energy with it. And so, as we were watching um, Seven, we're going to see some interesting stuff up here on episode eight. It's going to be some real interesting stuff. And I don't know if I'm ready for it because it's giving, like, triggering vibes. And I'm going to be for real. 
And so it's like, but I don't know, with that lady, I guess Piet's mom comes into the picture and I'm like, mm, this is not going to be an episode that I really want to, you know, really, really want to watch. But I'm going to watch it again. <laughs> because I didn't quite fully understand it the first time. So I'm going to watch it the second time. And I'm going to do, um, I might just do a reaction video. A live reaction or just pre-recorded. I don't know yet. But you guys, that's it for Don't Say No Episode 7. Um, the top of the food chain. With the mom and the family and stuff like that. So, if you guys want more reviews like this or you like reviews like this, just comment down below. Make sure you guys like the video. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. Um, smash that bell so you can guys be notified when I upload the next video. So, thank you guys. Enjoy your night, your morning, your afternoon, and your evening, whatever time you watch this. Um... Bye.